the one he brought over. The 9-0 collaboration with McKellar and Brewdog. Horizon Tokyo Black, 16%. Second time they brewed it. Was it a different name before? Uh, Tokyo Horizon Black, maybe. I kind of read something about it, but I don't know. That all faded. Quickly. Is that the one in the red can, or is that just the... Yeah, red red? Like, there's been a, so many variations on, and I'm not even... I couldn't keep up. Well, this is a solid room temperature. Set on the counter now for a while. Cute little bottle. Excited to get into it, though. I mean, all three breweries have their merits and brew some good stuff, so. I've had the Tokyo, and it was boozy, but it was, it was good. Once it, like, really warmed up, it was really enjoyable. I don't, I don't want to pour such a small bottle and not get me. Yeah. Especially since you brought it. Oh, this, I still jipped. Did I? Not good. Well, whatever. That's how she rolls, I guess. <laughs> Brews under review, sometimes you get jipped. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Pitch black. The cola, real fizzy cola head, like a rim on the glass. Dissipating quickly at 16%. To the aroma? I'm diving in. <laughs> diving in. Not boozy. Mild for the, the ABV, but not nullified in any way. I mean, it's. It's got that roastiness, that chocolate, it's almost a dark fruit. Almost like a typical. <laughs> I'm gonna say this again. I go in originally getting those same notes and then it's I'm picking up a bit of a soy I get the umami character it seems to be on the McKellar stout sometimes I don't know but a little salty yeah I get that salty too like the salty caramel kind of yeah caramel salty dark chocolate not like heavy roast but roasty enough and yeah 16% is not boozy so excited to Dig in. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, guys. That's nice. Like that first taste was almost like a fucking peanut butter. Peanut butter taste. That was... <laughs> it's the saltiness mixed with that kind of the sweet, malty, mild roasty. It's not heavy roastiness. It's not overly bitter. Very like well balanced, and like that. I don't even taste the alcohol. I was gonna say it's not boozy at all. And going into this, guys, before the camera went on, I said, "I'm guessing this is gonna be a just an alcohol bomb, just based on what you had with Tokyo and what I've had with some of the heavy McKellar stouts." And I mean, especially since this hasn't sat and aged, like this is five months old or whatever and I think the Tokyo I had for three years or something and it was still just boozy as hell but it's the second time making it so maybe and I'm not even getting the warmth either no not at all maybe that was from the was but <laughs> <laughs> this is this is actually really good and I'm saying it like I'm so surprised even though it comes in such handsome packaging <laughs> And the smallest bottle, too, is probably, what, was this a fortune? <laughs> I'm not taking a rip on these guys. I just know how originally their Tokyos were like 500s, and then I'm, they're like, let's get away with 12 ounce, and down to this, and it's like the same price, if not more expensive. This is good, though. I think it was 15. Yeah. We're in Canada, though, so that's like... <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's how much every beer this size costs. Fifteen dollars here. <laughs> I think we only had seven minutes, so yeah. To get that nuttiness, you say peanut butter. I get that nutty. Nut, yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
I think for me, I'm sitting around like a 92. Your grade on that? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna go two lower or higher, depending what you said. <laughs> I was gonna say 90, though, honestly. So, yeah, I think it's your. It's a nice. It's an A minus for me, but it's a solid, freaking 16 percent and no booze. Is not, I think that's what's pushing it into the 90 for me. If it was boozy, it'd be definitely more your your B kind of beer. A B beer, but this is good stuff. Appreciate you sharing. No problem. Appreciate you guys checking out the review. So the next one. Cheers. Cheers.